folks, XFL Jim here to bring you my list, the definitive list from the garage of the uniform rankings of the XFL in 2023. Before I do that, let me go through what XFL Jim in the other timeline has sent me, what are his rankings, 8 to 1 of the XFL uniforms of 2020. 8 was the Seattle Dragons, 7 was the LA Wildcats, 6 was the Dallas Renegades, 5 was the Tampa Bay Vipers, 4 was the DC Defenders, 3 was the New York Guardians, 2 was the St. Louis Battlehawks, and 1 was the Houston Rough Necks. What a list, Jim. Um, let's see what he's up to, actually, real quick. Good stuff, XFL Jim. Very good. Very awesome. Um, let's just jump into my list right now. From 8 to 1, these are the XFL uniforms that I like from worst to best. At number 8, give me the Orlando Guardians. They took the logo from the New York Guardians in 2020, slapped it on with some crazy bad colors. Um, it reminds me a lot of those really bad Michigan State uniforms. I want to say that was like 2017, 2018, and it's just, it doesn't work for me. The away uniforms look sick. They look awesome. Love the way that's shaping out. The logo is just bleh. The colors don't work. I just, it doesn't work for me in a very basic sense of what I want. It's just the uniform clashes. The colors don't work, and it just looks ugly on the players. Number seven. Give me the Seattle Sea Dragons. Maybe the dumbest logo in any spring league that I've ever seen. That dragon looks like it's just, it looks very stupid. And I, for one, I love it for that reason, but I also don't like it on a uniform. The, the orange helmets take a lot away from this uniform for me because I like oranges a lot as their kind of primary color. They're, they're doing something a little different with that regard. But the helmets just, it's a little too much. It's like when you're having a Sunday and you just, you blast it with whipped cream and it's like a little bit of whipped cream would have been nice. Just a little bit. You didn't need to, to douse it with a fire hose of whipped cream. Uh, again, the away uniforms for the Sea Dragons look amazing, and I, I like this. These are two teams. The Guardians and the Sea Dragons are teams that I'm going to be looking forward to watching not at home, which is not something you really want to see when you're talking about a uniform. Number six, I have the Houston Roughnecks. Maybe the biggest move from any team from number one to number six. It's just the logo's fine. They just made the logo a bit fatter, and I'm not going to fat shame anybody. I, I like the big, big logo. But the uniform, uh, they're doing some dumb half and half thing that I just don't feel is working. And I, it just, they're, they're trying to do too much. You had a perfect uniform. You had a great uniform with the 2020 set and you just, you tried to change it too much. And just, I don't like it. I don't like it. Even, even the away uniforms are just whatever. The helmets look sick. The helmets look straight out of the eighties, which I think is cool, but trying to do too much there at number five. Uh, uh. Give me the St. Louis Battlehawks. Um, not too much of a change from 2020. I do like the gray color a little bit more than I like the white. Helmet's sick. Probably the best helmet in the league, but the uniforms are just boring. They, they don't do anything for me themselves. Uh, the helmets are really sick, though, so that puts them kind of right in the middle ground. I can put them forward. I can put them five. Uh, depending on the day, maybe I could even bump them up to three, but right now they're sitting at What's up, XFL Jim? <laughs> Talking about uh, some uniforms. Okay, well, uh, how about the fact that your uniforms are all uh, dog shit compared to mine? <laughs> you guys have like two colors for all your teams. What? What are you talking about, dude? I got the gamblers. I got the generals. I got. Are we the... doing this right now? Are you seriously having this conversation when you have when you're wheeling out a uniform like the fucking Maulers? We're doing this? Okay, the Maulers are... are I'll, gi I'll give you that one. I'll give you the Maulers, but your league is shit. Your uniforms are bullshit, and you're shit. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna have so many disagreements, I feel, that we're just gonna have to settle this. Yeah, we're gonna go. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna happen. April, let's fucking do it. You, me, April. Jim a la Jim. Okay, it's happening. It's happening. I'm gonna do like, oh, mm, mm, that's me. It's the XFL in 2023. That's that's the USFL just fucking your league right in the ass. Mm, mm, mm. 
Suck my dick, Jim. Some bitch. Anyway, number four. Arlington Renegades. Uh, the Renegades, I, I wasn't a super fan of the logo, if you remember. Um, but it's kind of growing on me a little. I think it looks good on those helmets. And man, am I a sucker for powder blue. It's uh, it's just a beautiful thing. I would cover my body in powder blue paint and just run through the streets frolicking like I don't have a care in the world. If I could, if this was really America and I could do that, I'd be doing it every day. A uh, government. Anyway, great uniforms. Uh, the uniform, the away uniforms, uh, maybe the weakest away uniforms of any of the teams, but those home uniforms are sick enough to kind of make up for it. Uh, I like them definitely focusing on the blue more in 2023 than they did in 2020. It's a, it's a nice touch. At number three, give me the DC Defenders. They're they're kind of the same. They didn't really change too much. They fucked up the logo, um, but the color scheme just pops. That red and white just bam. It, it's like an explosion of red and white, which is something that it's very festive if you really think about it. And uh, I kind of I like the camo touch that they go with on the away jerseys. I like I like where they're going in that direction. It's kind of it's a nice little touch. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Uh, number two. You'll, you'll notice these next two are probably the two additional teams. Number two, give me the San Antonio Brahmas. Uh, the metallic gray with that yellow is just... It's so fucking sexy. I just want to make out with their logo. Uh, also, you'll notice the two-in-one. Very vaginal-looking logo. That that Brahmas logo is just so hot. In fact, ooh, hello, little San Antonio Brahmas logo. They're <laughs> looking, looking a little hot here. Come here. See, you, baby. Uh, those away uniforms look pretty good, um, but it's just that color with that logo. Man, it just it works for me. It works so well. Uh, speaking of which, number one is the Vegas Vipers. That logo is just boom, boom, ping pong, ping pong, pa. It is so fucking sexy. I would have loved maybe a different home to go with the away style, but. It's impossible, in my opinion. It's almost impossible to mess up a nice black and red. It just... Mwah, mwah, it's, it's so good. They're, they just... That logo pops. It's simple. They fixed the Vibers logo from 2020, and it works. Best logo, maybe in almost all of spring football. It's so good. I love the Vipers logos. Um, main takeaways from these uniforms i i think a couple of these are going to take a while to grow on people i think maybe eventually the roughnecks will grow on people i think i'll eventually become accustomed to the battle hawks new uniforms and uh it's the roughnecks are going to be the tough one it's i can see myself warming up to the seattle sea dragon uniforms i can see myself maybe coming around on these terrible guardian uniforms. but the fact that they had what they had in 2020 with the Roughnecks, and then they decided to go with this, really just chaps my ass. And I'm, I'm not going to get over that for a little while. That's all we got, folks. That's the uniform rankings of the XFL, the definitive Raj uniform rankings. I got a lot coming out soon. Uh, I have a merch review dropping soon because I, I got a whole bunch of XFL merch. Obviously, I'm going to be fighting that douchebag here, USFL Jim, in about two and a half, three months. So get ready for that. Um, roster previews or team previews are dropping through Spring Fever every week. I'm going to be doing my own individual team previews once February starts. There's a lot in the works right now. And of course, other timeline XFL gym is always busy with the rampage. So keep track of that. Love you guys. We'll see you.